What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 28 in the Math 1 questions that North Carolina released this past school year. The question tells us that the function a of n equals 3n minus 7 represents the value of the nth term in a sequence. And we're trying to find the sum of the first and fifth terms of that sequence. Now the big skill that this question tests is evaluating functions, but it does kind of disguise it as a sequence and in the language of sequences here, but that's actually not going to be that different from how we would normally do a problem like this. Because if this represents the nth term in a sequence, and I'm looking for the first term, that means I'm just going to have 1 be my n. And if I'm looking for the first term, then and my n equals 1, then all I'm going to do is plug in 1 for n, figure out that 3 times 1 is 3, minus 7, and that gets me negative 4. So my first term is negative 4. And now to look for my fifth term, I do a very similar thing. I say, okay, my n equals 5. So that's 3 times 5 now, minus 7. 3 times 5 is 15, minus 7 equals 8. So my first term was negative 4, my second term was positive 8. If I add those two together, whether I use the calculator or my rules of integers or whatever I want, I should get a sum of 4. So my answer is 4. And of course, we will need to practice uh, putting this into the gridded response box. So there's that. My answer is just 4. So I write 4 in, find the 4 bubble underneath that, and bubble that in. And that's how I do a question like this, including putting my answer in the gridded response boxes.